Sure. Uh, I'm Alan Ali Shahi. I'm co-founder of uh, ShelterZoom, which is the company that created the um, DocuWalk and also the One Report, our newest product. But by the way, we're announcing today, uh, our, you know, press releases about to go out. Probably already went out. Um, yeah, I come actually from a real estate background. Uh, my, uh, ho- you know, whole family has been in real estate. You know, initially, uh, you know, back in Iran where I originally come from. You know, my dad there. You know, he was um, the first real estate licensed real estate broker in the country. So, you know, the real estate is really in our DNA. Throughout my whole career, I always found that real estate was really uh, fragmented and you lacked a lot of innovation and then all of a sudden um, certain um, viewing platforms came to existence you know like uh, you know the aggregation sites you know and then uh, right after that uh, innovation uh, it is all of a sudden everything stopped and uh, it seemed like uh, there was no more um, room for growth. That's when we came in with uh, with our product, Shelter Zoom, and we immediately scanned the market. Found out that right after the search uh, is done, then you know that area needs to be developed, and that's where we came up with our offer now button and rent now button built on Ethereum blockchain. Uh, it was going to be on a horizon. I mean, uh, you cannot have uh, a leap, you know, using a legacy technology or using um, paper documents, things like that. You know, in order for real growth in, in any industry and in, in business in general, you need to have totally digital. And now with blockchain, you can have a tokenized document. And that opens up an entire new horizon. Well, as I said, you know, our main contribution has been the creating of a new species of a document, right? And that we are very proud of. And because of that, uh, we now have um, uh, ability to do things that couldn't be done before. It's very much like, you know, when, like, say, aluminum was, um, you know, uh, discovered, you know, all of a sudden a whole new set of tools, you know, you, you, you can't build a jumbo jet out of cast iron. So every time, you know, a new element came into, uh, you know, uh, existence and or discovered what people then new tools were discovered, you know, with our, um, obviously blockchain is that element. And we just simply use the blockchain to create a whole new um, set of tools, right, for, um, for, for, for commerce, you know, and uh, ultimately at the end, I think it will be a, like a marketplace built on tokens. I mean, the whole concept of document shredding really uh, it needs to be examined because, you know, um, if, if documents are tokenized, you know, uh, you don't need to uh, shred it because these tokens are kind of um, uh, uh, don't really travel. Uh, like if I have if I'm going to send you, let's say, um, a PDF file, right, I would have to go open an email, attach the PDF and send it to you then you will receive it you will download it and then now it it it, it actually travels from my computer my hard drive to your hard drive so that that's how a document travels at the present moment but once you have a tokenized document you no longer need to send it anywhere okay all you do is you allow permission into it so what happens now is the document becomes like a room, a space that you control. You can allow people into the document, then give them certain rights like editing, viewing, commenting, chatting, or managing, okay? And then once um, uh, the task is done and you no longer need that individual, let's say my editor or my my, uh, uh, graphic artist, right, can come into the document and in real time, 
play around and change things. In, uh, and I can see that, and we can all see each other collaborating on the, the document. And then when the time comes that I feel the you know the work is completed, I can remove their editing rights and just maybe simply delete them out of the out of the document, or I can. Uh, let's say uh, just give them viewing right or, or commenting rights, but no more editing. So this is really how we need to look at documents. You know, documents need to exist in in you know their own space, and then uh, you don't need to have multiple documents to shred. So you just give them access to one token. They come inside the token, and then they can start. You know, doing what they need to do, so the issuing side will have their token. The counterparty, the other side of the legal team, will have theirs, and these two tokens are entangled. So information can travel, but is privacy on both sides? So it takes care of the privacy issue, the security issue, the shredding issue, because if if at a certain point you decide, you know. Uh, you don't want anyone to have the access. You can you can totally shut it down and get everyone out, okay? And then you can delete that token, and now the shredding is done. I think this is the future of, of document management, and uh, also we have what we call the document GPS, which is how you can actually know where a document is. At any given time, who who has viewed the document, who has forwarded the document, uh, who has shared the document, especially for uh, sensitive industries where security is absolute paramount, like nuclear-based management, you know, things of industries of that that type, it's absolutely imperative that they know where the document is. You know, I could send you a PDF and then you know for your viewing, and someone can hack your computer, and then. And take that document and plaster it all over the internet. Okay, with our system, that's not possible. I think downtime is just a fact of life. You know, there there will be downtime here and there. You know, and obviously, uh, all um, uh, companies are trying to like minimize that to the to the, to as much as they can. Uh, but I think the real downtime is is all of the manual work that has to be done. I mean, imagine like a real estate agent having to drive around town, getting people to sign documents and and faxing and going to the office to pick up the fax or uh, let's just say um, you know going to, you know printing out documents. That that is a real downtime. Yeah, I mean, if you look at uh, documents, as, as I said uh, before, it, it it really is the, the glue that keeps the civilizations together. Without documents and contracts, contracts are a form of document, right? The oldest uh, document that that, to my knowledge, was ever found is goes back about 5,000 plus years. What is a marriage uh, contract between a man and a woman? It's very interesting. You can Google and find it online. Uh, they signed it on a on a on a clay tablet, right? So that's like as old as I, I've seen it. Then from there, you know, um, really the surface change. It went to uh, like carvings on mountains and you know um, leather and parchment and paper and PDF, right? So really the surface area changed. Okay, nothing intelligent about it. Okay. Uh, that's where intelligent documents come in, right? Documents that actually have intent, right? Um, and um, that's that's where we came up, you know, uh, as a consequence of having discovered this method of creating a new species of document with the concept of uh, COT and DOT. COT and DOT are contract of things and document of things, very much like IOT. Where instruments, you know, are connected, and you're like uh, baby camera. You can see the baby from your office, you know, because devices are not con- connected through internet. We view documents also as instruments, 
and we feel that they need to be connected and we're building our company to fulfill that vision 